I sold these sequin shorts on Etsy for $350. So I'm going to put you on game on how I'm selling on Etsy and on my website as well. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing um, a comment that I received from one of you fabs in my last vlog. And I think this is a comment that we all may have issues with. And I think it will help. I think this video will help you guys understand or better understand how we can make changes with our own issues that we're having within our business. So I'm going to go ahead and put the comment right here. And the comment reads, I'm having a hard time finding customers. Essie sells, don't hit, and wedding wire costs a lot and you don't get seen. It's really the biggest struggle for an independent designer like myself in NYC. Now, I, for one, know the struggle of being a designer. And it's very true. It is hard with all the saturations of people, you know, other designers coming up and bringing their ideas to the forefront. You kind of wonder like, oh, when you look over to the left, you've seen another person doing the same thing you're doing and so on and so forth. So it's making you feel like it's such a hard thing. And I had this issue for a very long time, but I think the problem lies in we saying that it's hard and the fact that it is hard is going to be true for us. And so I had to realize that no matter how much competition is in the field that I'm in, I am unique. And I have a different perspective to bring to this table and my experience is going to be a pleasant one and so I'm going to do everything I can to make my experience pleasant and because of that pleasant experiences will be attracted towards me first we have to get our mind right when we start our business and we have to be on the side of it's going to work for me in order for success to be for you to track success you have to see yourself as success so first and foremost i'm not picking on you because we all have these issues that we all dealt with i even still deal with them today and um i think just um points out this comment can uh help everyone in the group we're all growing together and i want everyone to succeed so when I dissect this comment, don't take it as I'm picking on you. So first you said that I'm having a hard time finding customers. And this is going to be true for you because you're saying that you're having a hard time finding customers. It is not hard to find customers. And I repeat again, it is not hard to find customers. We have to reprogram and rework our mindset to achieve what we want and desire. So obviously you desire customers. So we have to look at it saying that I can attract customers. You just have to figure out how to attract those customers. So once we reprogram our mind, we're going to be able to attract those customers. Okay. You said SC sales don't hit and wedding wire cost a lot and you don't get seen. Now this part of your comment sounds like you're chasing sales and we should not be chasing sales because we can attract our customers being who we are and what we stand for. So that's the number one thing about um, having the right mindset and knowing what is it that you want your business to be known for. So once you got that down, it's going to be easy for you to communicate so that way you can get customers to make sales. And therefore, you don't need to run to every other website to get sales or customers. You know that you'll pick a site, you'll feel good about it, you know that you can communicate, and you'll, you will attract those customers to purchase. And then lastly, you said, um, it's really the biggest struggle for independent designers like myself in NYC. You know I'm in New York as well, and I feel like New York is the um, is the fashion capital of the world. So ain't nowhere else for me I'm going to do better than New York. I mean, maybe I will do better in Paris because I did want to live in Paris one time of my life. And I think I would accelerate in Paris because I just, I just feel like I'm that girl, you know. So if you feel that you are a struggle 
as an independent designer, it will be a struggle for you. I want you to get that out of your head because this is going to stop you from being inspired to continue your journey because you're seeing things in the negative instead of seeing them in the positive. As an independent designer, this is the time for you to show why you are the designer that you are. And you're supposed to be standing in your convictions as to this is what I design, this is what I do, and I'm going to attract people who feel the same way. So that means how you show up, how you present yourself, how um, you speak is how people come and attract to you, how you uh, gain customers. And once you stand in who you are, you have no, there's no choice for people to look and stare and and want to know more and draw that attention towards you because you are being who you are and what you stand for in your business. And so don't um, think that is a struggle. You need to just think that I need to show up for myself in this business so that way I can attract the people who feel the same way I do. Now, when you start looking left and right and seeing what someone else is doing and what and, and seeing it as competition or maybe if I adjust myself I'll do this and maybe I can get what they get you are losing at the game because you're not being yourself and so now you're trying to play as this person and they are looking at you like what are you doing you're copying you're mimicking me but you're not me so you need to be you in order for you not to struggle in what you do because there's no struggle in, if you're doing you there is no struggle. How can you struggle being you as a designer? Unless you sitting here looking at everybody left and right, um, watching the competition. Oh, that person doing this. Maybe I should do that too. This is a struggle because now you're trying to figure out instead of you being in your own. In your own and stand your own ground. So I want you to stop thinking this way. Um, I had this issue too when I first started was looking left and right and this does not help. And so whoever is struggling with these words of struggle hard, please stop using them. Start using I'm a success, um, I'm hot, I'm the hottest. Every design that I put out, everybody buys even if it's not happening. You have to think about them that way for yourself. Etsy has million dollar, uh, their sellers on there that's making millions and their sellers who's not making nothing. And the difference between them is about how they go about their business. So I'm going to give you tips on how to become successful in the area of design that you are for your business. Okay. So let's say you're trying to start on Etsy. Etsy has an aesthetic and the sellers that are doing well know that they play into that aesthetic. Aesthetic. And so they work their items that they're selling, their handmade goods that they're selling into the price point that they're going to be promoting. Um, they also uh, cater to the styling of the, the brand and that allows Etsy to promote them. It allows them to get the customers that um, is similar vibe to Etsy uh, to buy from them as well because they look similar. Now, if you're not going to play in that aesthetic, that you can also do your own thing, but make sure that you have a aesthetic that someone can recognize when they come and see your products. So, for, for example, how is your aesthetic? What does it look like? Can somebody read that is for them if they see the, the style? Is it glam? Is it urban? Is it boho? Is it um, minimalist? Is it comfort? What is the aesthetic of your branding? And so I'm working on this as well because I have like an aesthetic where it's like my aesthetic is very feminine. It's very showgirly. It's very like um, um, glam uh, and it's easy to wear. No fuss about it. It's just all of those in one. So I'm basically reworking my brand, rebranding so that way I can have that feel. So once the customer comes in, oh, I like this. This is me. This is for my event. So when they start talking, oh, this is for my birthday. This is for my photo shoot. This is for my event. I want to buy this for this special um, award ceremony I'm going to because they can see the essence of it. As far as I'm talking, how are you speaking? Your language of how you speak, those verbiages 
attract your customer as well. Are you A, you know, are you very subdued? Are you sensual? Are you fairy tale? You know, are you kooky? These are all the way you speak is how your customer is drawn to you as well because they are speaking the same language. Another thing, when you see Etsy has where people come into your store and just favorite stuff. Favorite stuff. They favorite stuff. They favor a lot of my stuff. And so I used to be like, oh, people favoring my stuff and they don't want to buy. Like, what's up with that? And that's, I had to look at that di uh, differently because favorite could mean that they can come back later. Favorite could mean that, man, I wish this was in a different color. And also, if you pay attention to how many items are being favored, maybe this can give you an idea of maybe you should come up with something less or maybe you should come up with something a different in a different color. They love this, but maybe there's a reason why they're not buying. So let's try to figure out exactly what we can do to change that so we can get sales. And I think that answer would be towards you, for you, to decide when you feel there's something I need to add to make this work. So you would decide if it feels good to you to add colors, you'll do a colors. If it feels to you for you to dumb down the design and make it so simplified, then you'll do that. But you have to feel that that is what you want to do versus something you have to do. Because if you have to do it, it won't work. But if you feel that this is something you want to do, that's more likely going to get you the results that you're looking for. Now, all of this can be transferred to any website. So when you're deciding what place you want to go to sell your item, whether it's your own website, an Etsy website, or a second party, or a third party, or um, one of those uh, websites where they do B2C or C2B, B2B, oh, I don't know. You have to feel like this is the place for you. Once you decide this is the website for you, then you can plan out to implement the plan so that way you can get the results that you need. But if you feel like this is not it, this is going to cause, it's going to be a difficult thing to do. You won't be able to produce if you're in that um, state. You want to be in the state of, I love this website, I love what they're doing, this is going to get me um, a, B, and C, I know what to do and how to do it and how to present myself. This is where you have all your, you're able to plan easy and it, and it just comes to you. You just like, once you know what you're doing and it feels good, then you're going to take the necessary actions to implement a plan so that way you can execute and come out winning on the website you're on. So this is, you have to really sit down and think about the, um, your business and how you want to how you want your business to be perceived and how you want to attract your customers and if you do those things if you take the time to plan out and focus on yourself and making sure that this is the direction that you want to do and how you want to do it there's no reason for you to struggle in this area so i really hope that you can i really hope this video helped you or at least understand exactly what you need to do. Um, again, I'm not trying to pick on you. This is where I was too. And I had to really step back and tell my, ask myself, what is it that I truly want? And what is it that going to get me to the results, get me the results that I'm looking for? So I wish this the same for you and anyone else who is dealing with this issue. I hope this um, comment um, serves you as well so that way you can see a different perspective about your business and this is my final thought lastly surround yourself with people who is going to support and understand exactly what you're doing anybody who's opposing anybody who's turning their noses up on the things that you're doing stay away from them because they're going to fuel the negative thoughts that you have in your mind and you want to stay in a positive a mindset if you stick around people who um, support what you do, love the fact that you're doing something for yourself, you, you'll always constantly see yourself um, progress in this area. Being in a group that you are saying, woes is me, this is a struggle, my gosh, it's hard. Somebody asks you about your business, oh, you know, it's hard out here. Um, I could barely get any sales. You know, it's mad competition out here. 
Do not talk about your business like this. You got to talk good things about your business. Oh, you know, even if you don't even believe it 100%, you can say, well, it's a going thing. You know, I'm working at it every single day. Um, it's just um, it's just a matter of time before I get my first sale. You know, um, I made my first sale. If, if you made one sale, I made my first sale and I'm looking forward to the next one. You know, that will generate more positive towards your business than you saying girl or guy it's hard out here you know i only made one sale you know the sales are not coming through you know it's a hard thing over here you know there's mad people doing the same thing i'm doing so it's a hard it's hard for all of us out here you know what i'm saying this is not going to get you the results that you're looking for talking like that being surrounded by people like that attracting people so you can be in this group is not going to get you the results that you want because the results that we all want is sales so I'm over here with the group that's talking about, girl, you know what? I made my first sale and I'm so proud. I'm so happy. I can't wait for the next one. The next one is coming and I'm going to be excited about that. I can't wait for I, I got like five there. I can't wait for me to get so much business. I have to go outsource it to somebody. I got to go and delegate. That's going to be crazy. You see how that is? Oh, how's your business going? My business is going. It's going right now. You know, it's, it's kind of slow. It's picking up. It's just a matter of time before I get one sale. So I'm just waiting for that. Oh, that's good. Keep on. Keep. That's where you want to be. That's the group that you want to talk. That's how you talk about your business so that way your business can be generating. Talking negative is not going to get you the results. We want to stay positive. So if anybody who's doing this, I would really suggest you stop doing that and start talking positive. You only going to fuel and get positivity if you talk nothing but good things. Don't put yourself in places so you can be woes me. You're going to be in that group where it's woes me versus the group of I'm winning. And you want to be in I'm winning. It's going to be hard at first, but if you step back and try at least to at least open, be open to it, then you'll see yourself eventually seamlessly entering that space you cannot even accept those people so i want all of us to succeed i really do because i feel like you if you're here you're here for the same reasons why we are all here for and we all want to win and there's so much room out here to win for everyone Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope this information serves you and it does you good. Alright, so I'm about to go ahead and ship. So I'm out the door. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.